guys how are you babies doing i am doing good so i have a new video that i wanted to come out for you babes you know i love pink it's gonna involve a lot of pink in it so yeah um i'm gonna do a cute little flirty pinup ponytail hairstyle so if you babes want to see please keep watching all right so you know babes you know i do the same thing primer uh when i start my makeup i use this primer to put on my face and then after that, I'll go in with my Wet n Wild Color Correcting Wheels. Alright, next babies, then I use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I love this stuff. It really does help. A subscriber told me about it. Thank you, babe. I owe you one. So, yeah, I am putting this on my overbrush. This has lasted me a long time just because of these dang on brushes. So, yeah. What I love about this elf is that it's very affordable, you can get it anywhere, and I love the pomade in it. Okay. Okay, let me stop. I'm looking like crazy. I'm lightly putting this on my lid. Okay. I'm putting that on my lid now with 
the Grace Pink Ladies palette. I'm going with this one. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use Summer 11 on my lips. On my lips. <laughs> I'm sorry. Summer 11 on my lids. I'm all on my lips. Like so. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take a little bit of So Pink, and I'm going to just put that right in the middle. No, it's very, very shimmery and sheer, so I don't think you're going to get a lot of pink out of it because you're not. I am going to go with Pop right here, and I'm going to put it on my lid. I'm going to take another brush because this one is not picking up as much as I want it to. Oh, tiny bit. You know what? I'm going to get my trusty sponge brush because that always works. Trust me, babes. You need to have them. They pick up better than regular brushes. These brushes pick up way better. It's ridiculous. These pick up way better than a regular freaking brush. And I got these from the dollar store for cheap. So, I'm going in with So Pink and I'm putting this all on my lids. There we go. It's kind of like your finger is on it, so. Girl, so pretty. Oh, this is coming out really cute. And then I'm gonna go with pop. I got more some more pink color. And I'm gonna go back and forth from pop and disco. I'm going with Disco right here, so. I'm just putting a little bit right here. Give it a little color. Some death color. And then I'm going with So Pink. And then I'm going to put some more on top. I love shimmer. A little bit on top. So I'm kind of ombre it out in a way. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm going to be doing the same. I'm going in with Summer 11. And I'm going in with Frosting. At the same time, I'm dipping both. Because for some odd reason, they both work when they're together like that. So.
give myself that Marilyn Monroe mole because I always do that. I'm just going to put this right here. Next, last thing for makeup is I'm going to give myself a tiny little highlight. Just with my finger, I'm using the A&S Cosmetics in After Hours. I'm just giving myself a little pearl nose on the top. Okay, right here, I'm using my contour palette, and I'm just going to give myself a tiny one. It's not going to be that big. Right here. Right here. Just to give it, you know... Alright, now we are going to get into hair. Okay. Alright, babes. Now we're going to get into hair. So, I wanted to do a cute ponytail with you, babes. Yes, this is my natural hair. It is a little messy right now, but we're going to get that together real quick. Alright, so I'm going to take this down. Um... And I am going to uh, put my hair in a high ponytail because that's what I want. I want like a cute high pony, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put my hair in a high ponytail like that. Alright, so first I am going to take my comb and I'm going to take my wide tooth uh, brush and I'm just going to brush it up. I will tell you babes to use some... Um, edge control gel because that helps me with my edges and I use this kind it's called the Cantu edge control I don't know if you but any of you babes use edge control but I do for my edges and then I use this little teasing brush to slick it back all right so oh and we're doing a very high very tight ponytail oh and I'm using this Tresemme hair so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna brush it back And then brush it up. Forward. You guys can see what I'm doing. Because I want to like a really my ways. And then I just brush up. All right now, now that I got this in a high ponytail, high bun ponytail, and I spritzed it, and I put some edge control, and I brushed it up, I'm going to put in my ponytail. I got this from eBay. It only cost me like, I think, ten to eleven bucks. So yeah. And I'm going to put it at the top. I'm going to, there's two combs, one in the front, one in the back. I'm going to put the comb in the front. And then I put the comb in the back. It is a drawstring, so keep that in mind. And we are going to pull the string and make it as tight as you can. I'm sure anyone that wears fake ponytails know how to do it. But for some that don't ever, I mean, you'll be surprised some people don't wear fake ponytails. So, I'm just saying what I do to keep mine super tight and in place. It will not budge or move. So, I'm pulling the string. Now, you pull the back of the string super duper tight. And make sure it's in place. And then, what I do is I wrap the string around. And it makes the ponytail more secure and tight when you do that. And then I just tuck it under.
And so after that, this is how it looks. And then after that, I just take a little piece of hair and I take this brush and I just brush it and then I wrap it around the pony. After I'm done doing that, I'll give myself a tiny brush up at the top, you know, just to even it out so it all looks, you know, evenly. I love it when it sits at the top because it just gives it a cute, playful, flirty look to it. I forgot where I got this bow from. I think I got it from Forever 21, but I'm putting a bow at the top. and the Broadway colors is the color Take Me. So I'm just gonna lightly put some of this on my lips in the middle and then just start all over. Okay. Now after that, I'm going to add a little shine to it, and then I'm going to use this lip gloss called Super Gloss. It is, well, it's by RK, RK by Kiss, so I'm sh if you guys have a local beauty supply, you can go there. And so I just put a little bit in the middle. You know, babes, I love my lipsticks matte, but sometimes I like to have a tiny bit of gloss. So I just put a little right here. I'm going to make it too glossy, just a little. And there, there you have it. So yeah, babes, this is how I do my pink lipstick sometimes. Sometimes I like it super duper matte. Sometimes I like it super duper glossy. Sometimes I just like it in the middle. And this is just really in the middle. It's giving me a Barbie pink vibe. So yeah, um, this is the look. And tell me what you babies think. And now let's get to this outfit. Alright, babes, and this is the outfit. My pink heels. This is from Hell Bunny. This is vintage. This I got from AliExpress. 
It's a pink purse, patent leather. These are from Pin Up Girl Clothing. It's my little ponytail and my bow. This is how it looks. I think it looks really cute. It's giving me 1960s pink Barbie vibes. This is the purse. Has a like a jewel on top of it. And my nails and my ring is pink. I know pink is my favorite color. Plus, I think I look good in it. Oh yeah, I'm pleased mind this. This doesn't really fit me, but I made it work. I have a bra under it to boost it, and these little things are showing. I know it doesn't really fit, but I like it. And I put some bra extenders in the back because it really didn't fit me, so I had to make it fit. Like I put bra extenders in the back. So this is what it looks like. I thought it was really cute. Pink Barbie. 1960s Barbie. I've been feeling a lot of cute 1960s stuff lately. So be prepared to see more posts of that. Alright babies, this is the look. I will put everything in the description box below. Please like and subscribe. I love you babies. Bye bye.